Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Holder Heck channel. So, here we are about two weeks away from the official Burning Crusade Classic announcement. I'm fairly a million percent positive that that is true. And what that means is if you go to the Google machine, you're going to see about a million different speculative guides. Speculate? I can't. Speculative? Spe speculative. You're going to see a bunch of guides out there that um, are going to tell you, like, what they think is going to happen for TBC. But the honest answer is nobody really knows, um, except me, because uh, I was there. So what I'm going to do is today we're going to go over a short list of, let's just say, top ten, even though it might not end up being a top ten, but... You know, we have to we have to break this YouTube algorithm. So we're going to say top 10 items from classic World of Warcraft that are still going to be useful in Burning Crusade. And by useful, I mean either useful in endgame, useful in PvP, or useful in leveling, or just generally like you're not going to immediately delete this thing as soon as you enter Hellfire Peninsula and the first green drops, which for basically... 90% uh, of the items in Classic WoW, that's what you're going to do, but not these things. And so the list is going to cover profession items, professions in general, leveling gear, and various other stuff. Additionally, I will say that this is not an ad for my microphone. This is just where it is now, and uh, it's not really, it's just, you know, whatever. We're just going to act like it's not there, and we're just going to go with it, so let's go. So the first thing we're going to go over today, I did this on my laptop, the first thing we're going to go over today is going to be uh, items that will be useful while leveling. Now, I think a lot of people are going to be leveling in dungeons, just doing dungeons from literally level 60 to level 70, and they'll never touch a quest. And the easiest way to do that is going to be coming prepared with really good leveling gear right off the bat. So since I play an Enhancement Shaman, this is uh, going to be the things that I'm focusing on, but... I will say this, the one trick, even greater than collecting max weapons and, and everything else that, that basically anybody can do, is uh, if and when we get pre-patch, now this is my speculation, but if and when we get pre-patch, um, every single piece of High Warlord gear, High Warlord weapons, that all becomes bought with honor. Now, I was a High Warlord back in Vanilla. So I remember being really, really upset that this change happened. And I can't specifically remember if you needed honor, which becomes like a number that you gain from doing battlegrounds, like a currency, if you needed honor and badges. So like, you know, like a certain number of Arathi Basin badges and a bunch of honor to collect the full High Warlord set and the High Warlord weapons. But... Basically, all you need to do is PvP a lot, and you can get yourself a full set of leveling gear. Um, obviously, the, the you know, rank 13, rank 12 PvP set isn't necessarily like BIS for DPS for a lot of people, but what it is BIS for is having a lot of stamina and a lot of stats. And if you go to Hellfire Peninsula and you're very undergeared and you're trying to dungeon level you're going to get pooped on by basically everything because everything starting from level 61 hurts. So if you got yourself the entire rank 13, rank 12 set and a couple of rank 14 weapons, you'd be on a very, very good track to be able to complete uh, BC leveling content without getting two shot by random mobs that are walking around. That being said... Obviously, if you can pick up Naxxramas level weapons, or even Cthulhu level weapons, and bring them into BC, those should last you until level 70. As in, like, a misplaced servo arm, or a castigator, or if, you know, you're a warrior or whatever, and you're using, you know, the Hungering Cold, or Gressel. Like, those things are basically level 70 blue quality weapons, so... You're going to be extremely overpowered compared to the, like, quest reward drops that will be happening in uh, either random questing or even, you know, level 63 dungeon blues.
The next thing I want to talk about is uh, potions and elixirs and various other things moving into BC. Um, blasts are nerfed. So, um, again, if we get progressive rollout, it's going to be a really weird time where, like, you can stack flasks and, and everything's really goofy. But just assuming that Blizzard's going to give us 2.4.3, which is the easiest, laziest option, uh, the flasks that we currently use in Classic will be nerfed, so you don't have to worry about that. However... There are a couple things that are still very, very useful, and in fact, some things that weren't even useful at all that will actually become bis, like the Elixir of Demon Slaying. Uh, the Elixir of Demon Slaying is going to be your, like, go-to melee consumable uh, whenever you're fighting demons, which, believe it or not, in an expansion called the Burning Crusade, which revolves around fighting a lot of demons, uh, you're going to be doing that a lot. So... If you haven't already, I already have, so that's that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm okay to talk about this, but if you haven't already stockpiled hundreds upon hundreds of ghost mushrooms and Grom's blood to make these elixirs of demon slaying, I suggest you do that yesterday, because uh, you're going to be using these things a lot. So elixir of demon slaying is definitely like your number one go-to potion from vanilla that you're going to be using all throughout BC. Secondarily, free action potions are still incredibly useful, and they don't get nerfed. Additionally, living action potions are still incredibly useful, and they don't get nerfed. Additionally, 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 in our potions guide here, uh, restorative potions are still incredibly useful, and will be used the entire expansion as well, as they still do exactly what they do in Classic, and that's remove bad things from you. Next, we're going to talk about everybody's uh, favorite topic, or at least my favorite topic, trinkets. Uh, there's actually several trinkets going into BC that are super useful throughout the entire expansion. Uh, the first one that I want to talk about is going to be one that I have, and I picked up for this specific reason, uh, the Badge of the Swarm Guard. So, in Classic, it's actually possible to get boss armor down to zero, which can make the Badge of the Swarm Guard not as useful as you want it to be, as in not useful, like, at all. That being said, in BC, boss armor values go up by, like, double, and the ability to remove boss armor does not scale. So the Badge of the Swarm Guard becomes at least very, very good, if not mathematically bis, for the entire time it's up, because you're removing 1,200 armor from a boss that other people are not able to remove. So that alone is going to make it, like, stupidly powerful for the entire expansion. The other trinkets that I want to talk about are going to be the Scarab Brooch, which uh, I think just gives you a 15% healing shield on people you heal. That doesn't get changed. It stays 15% to the best of my knowledge. So that means that you're going to be able to then heal people and give them that 15% healing shield that scales with your healing forever. And everything that scales, especially anything that does like by a percentage, is crazy broken as we get more powerful throughout the expansion. And we have the Lufa, which worked in Karazhan when I played. I, I think it might have gotten changed by the end of the expansion. So if you have this thing sitting in your bags, great. If you don't, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. But the Lufa removed Moreau's bleed from Karazhan, which like hurt a lot. So if you have this thing sitting around, you want to try it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But I think a lot of us did this quest. So, you know, grab the Lufa and don't delete it. And if you did, oh, well, it's it's still a cool item that might actually work. Also, we have the Hand of Justice, which again, it just creates an extra melee attack. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but again, anything that scales, as in like, as you get stronger, your melee attacks get stronger, and having another melee attack scales infinitely. So it's not like the greatest item in the world, but you know, it's definitely something that you could use until you picked up something better. Like for sure, something that you could use the entire time you were questing and leveling, absolutely. And the last, last trinket that I'm going to talk about is going to be actually something for Warlocks. Uh, not because I actually care about Warlocks, because uh, I'm going to be really, really sick of looking at them about one day into Burning Crusade, but something I definitely remember working is the Black Book from Razorgore in Blackwing Lair. Um, especially, especially scales like crazy um, in early BC and makes Warlocks pets, like, basically able to solo other players. 
Now, I don't know again if that works in 2.4.3, but when I played, it definitely did, and it was not fun to deal with. So, uh, Warlocks, I think most of you probably knew that already, but, you know, if not, go do a Blackwing Layer Pug and hang on to your Black Book so you can watch your Felgar just beat the living crap out of anybody, and it's, it's, it's actually kind of hilarious as long as it's not happening to me. Last couple things we're going to get into here are the uh, ZG shoulder enchants and the Saffron shoulder enchants compare extremely well to the shoulder enchants you can get from either the Aldor or the Scryers. As you can see here, the Zolgarub enchants are basically equivalent to the lower level shoulder enchants from either the Aldor or the Scryer, and the Saffron shoulder enchant is basically equivalent to, and I think actually mathematically slightly tiny minuscule percent better, to the... Um, ultimate level shoulder enchant from either the Eldors or the Scryers. So if you can get a hold of one of these enchants and just hang on to it uh, until you get some form of your Biss uh, moving into BC, then you're not going to be doing too bad for yourself, and it's probably definitely 100% something you should do. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for my maybe it was 10, maybe it was more than 10, maybe it was less than 10. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and check because uh, I, I, I just I kind of wing these, to be honest with you. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, we're going to be doing more Burning Crusade content as I decide to do more Burning Crusade content. Um, I thank you guys for being here with the channel. Uh, check me out on Twitch at The Holder Heck. Um, give me that like and subscribe and check out my merch store came out with some cool t-shirts and stickers and various other things that I'm sure everybody's going to want to plaster all over their car and monitor and computer and various other things in their house because stickers are cool. Uh, you guys have a great one. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.